the new Toucan Sam was just revealed to this month, and it's safe to say that people aren't happy. Is this a parody from The Amazing World of Gumball? Is it supposed to be some kind of joke? Nope, it's official. There are more than a few problems with the Fruit Loops mascot's new design, and I already talked a bit about them in the previous video. But for today, let's take a deeper look into the bright side. This design may be really hard to look at compared to what came before, but the good news is, the internet is here to fix everything. More specifically, artists from around the world have shared their redesigns on Twitter, and a lot of them fixed the biggest problems behind this nightmare. It's time to highlight what I think are some of the best, and Kellogg's could probably even take inspiration from them. Chukazu chimes in with a nice sketch of Sam, along with a colored version. Taking a look at this compared to the one we got, the differences are obvious, except one is a million times better. While this guy doesn't take on the exact same look as to how he's been for a few decades, this is pleasing on the eyes, and remains true to the main components of the character. For one thing, he actually has a mouth on the beak here. Let's go! Also, the beak is so much easier to look at here. Alt Canvas IG decided on a different approach for the Fruit Loops mascot. There are less colors to make it more visually appealing, and it takes on a pointy feel. Feels like you just want to meet this dude and hug him. Look how happy he is! Winged Wolf 94 took the official design reveal and turns things around. The colors are less saturated here, and there's not too many on the beak. He actually has a mouth where it's supposed to be, and would you look at that, his eyes aren't abnormally large. Some people would probably still disagree with this if it became official, but I can respect it. JW Cartoonist went a more animated direction with the character, stretching out his arms and making his colors more defined. Looks pretty nice. FTF the Tunis used the same general style, but you'll notice a few changes that help make it stand out. The mouth is on his beak, there's a clear separation between each color here, and he actually has wings, which for some reason isn't visible in the official design. This one is also a bit taller, which helps in keeping true to the original that everyone's familiar with. Cool stuff. Okay, I really like this redesign from Angel B. Sam's beak takes a sharper curve here to reflect the actual beak of a toucan. Darker colors are used, which makes the overall look more appealing because you can actually see him without your eyes burning from the glow. Nothing brightens a dark room like light from a window. Time to open the window. Oh no! Why? Why is this happening? Ah! Surprise! Ah! My eyes are on fire! Ah! Ah! Now when we're talking about this whole situation, it kind of reminds me of what went down with the Sonic movie. If that was anything to go by, then the backlash could revert things back to normal for the Fruit Loops mascot. But no matter what, the redesign was a success. Whether we like it or not, more people are talking about Sam everywhere online right now than in recent years. This brings awareness to anyone who doesn't already know, which gets people to start thinking about the brand, making it more likely they're gonna buy a box at the store. Just the very fact that I made this video about Fruit Loops, and that you're watching it right now, that's really what they want. <sighs> oh well, it's still fun to talk about. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.